Hey, Bola buddies. Thanks for watching. Okay, so I recently um, showed you guys this poster I got. I think you can see it. It's um, I've done a little more research since then. And can you see it? All right, so um, what I have found is that it is... Um, let me read here. I've got something pulled up behind me. So it's Joseph Kosman and it's Intimate Strangers. It's an original merchandise merchandising poster for a non-existence film. Okay. So this is Jane Mansfield and she's, that's actually her, but um, you see how the guy is blacked out. And then the name down here on this one is Frank Miller. Okay. So apparently you could mail order these in and get your name put on it okay so what i am going to show you guys today is how i'm going to package this and there's one on ebay right now for 425 or best offer that's the only one i can find um i have a whole bunch of screens pulled up for uh, videos i'm going to do later so there is a little bit of a delay i apologize but you should still get the gist of the video so I was at a community garage sale this weekend and I got a bunch of pool noodles. Okay. And I paid 10 cents each for them. Um, the reason I hate pictures and posters and stuff like that is because I'm not good at shipping them. Okay. So I remember hearing that people use pool noodles for shipping, but I'm not sure if they use them for what I'm going to use it for, but I think this will work great. So I'm going to show you what I did. So I take the scissors and I stick it in the hole and I just cut all the way up the noodle. Okay. So to save time, here's one that's already cut. So you can see I've cut all the way up and I measured it. And then I am going to fit it on the side of this poster like this. Okay, so there's one side. I've already got the other side cut. So I'm just kind of fitting it on. And then, uh, so that's that. So I've got two sides on now. Sorry, major delays. So now the top, I need to trim this one a little bit. Cut some of that off. I'll save that piece for something else. Um, and then I'm going to put this on the top. I just thought I'd show you guys this. I, I haven't really ever done it before. So I'm hoping it's going to work. So that is button up to that one. So you can see the corners here. And then I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to do the same thing on the top. My goal is to protect the picture. This picture is really brittle. Um, the one that's going for $4.25 looks a lot nicer than mine. This one it has a tear. Um, what I think I have going for me is Frank Miller is such a, um, I don't want to say a common name, but it's more common than, I think the name in theirs is like Ernie Kiske or something like that. So there's probably more Frank Millers in the world. Okay, so then I'm just going to take, I might have to trim it a little bit. I'm going to take a regular trash bag, a white kitchen trash bag, and I'm just going to put it over it like this. Maybe I'll use a black trash bag. This isn't like the final thing, but I don't have any other bags big enough other than a trash bag. But I want to show you one more thing and I forgot to bring it over. So just a second. Let me grab it. It's 
So these things, I uh, buy a lot of my stuff at Walmart so that I can get these bubbles. Um, I buy like my paper towels, my toilet paper, stuff like that. So I'm gonna take that and I'm just gonna shove it in here like that. And I'll probably flatten it out so that it's even with the um, noodles. And that'll just offer an extra pro protection for it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think this is going to work? My goal is to protect it because it's old. Maybe I'll get a piece of cardboard and put it over it. I haven't quite decided. But I thought the pool noodle idea for the edges of the picture frame is a good idea. And, you know, it can be a thicker frame because this will stretch. But I don't know. That's how I'm going to ship this. Hopefully it works out. If I end up having an issue, I'll let you guys know. Um, like I said, I might do like a piece of cardboard and then add this over it. And then maybe I'll use a black trash bag because this white is see-through. And then I'll slap some of my eBay uh, stickers that I get with my eBay reward for having a store subscription. So that might work. Um, but anyway, that's it. I just wanted to share that with you guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching as always. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe below and be sure to check out my Bolo videos. That's mostly what my channel is about. Um, items you can buy low and sell high. This poster I picked up for $8. I think I'm gonna start it, uh, buy it now or best offer, maybe at 350. Everything that I've read, I saw some worth point, but I can't, I don't have worth point, so I can't look them up. But um, everything in worth point all the descriptions say rare, hard to find, not very many available. So I don't know. I'll start it high and hope for the best. Anyway, super exciting. Um, it does have a tear and it's very brittle. So I'm flexible on the price, but might as well start it high and just see what happens, right? All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Sorry for the delay.